What's up everybody, Chat Cats Fishing here. Welcome to today's episode. Uh, this is part two of my trip up here in Minnesota. And obviously we are with the Northwoods Angling guys. Ow, we added somebody. Yeah, we added somebody. We got Blake here. And uh, we are fishing on the St. Croix River. And guys, we're going for my bucket list fish, the gigantic Lake Sturgeon. Lakester. The gigantic Lake Sturgeon. Uh, we got some heavy duty rods, so we're not gonna be messing around tonight guys look at all this right here okay we even got some got some grill stuff we're going to be growing up some wings we're going to be out here for quite a while so we're going to be using some gizzard shad right in here boys also some night crawlers so uh stay tuned let's hope we can get on a good bite yeah all right so show us the rig that we're using tonight so since we run all custom rods, we don't run with our weights on. We hmm. travel without weights on. Once we get here, we'll put our weight on. Four ounce, is this a bank sinker? Yep, bank sinker. Bank sinker, bead. Uh, we're on 80 pound braid on the top. 80 pound main line, guys. What's the leader? 80 pound. 80 pound as well. It's the same line, yep. And a swivel. And here we're using, this is a Charlie Brown, bottom dollars tackle. Just a simple, I think it's a seven knot. Seven knot circle hook. Charlie Brown circle. So you can actually set the hook or you can do the circle method just reeling it. Gotcha. Reeling down on the fish. So how do you guys rig up the bait? I know just you're. Like this. I'm about to put the worms on. It's a big slop. So you can either gob them on or you can pinch them off like this. If I'm not feeling too lazy, I like to pinch them off. That way any other little fish that are down there, it takes them a lot longer to peck it off. And in the meanwhile, Sturgeon might swim by and eat it. You so know, we're using a lot of them. So we're making a mess with our hands now. This is our first setup of the night, so we're not quite prepared. Eventually we'll ditch the dirt, fill the tub with water. Good to go. So this one's ready to get spread. Two yeah. worms pinched, pinched apart into probably five, six pieces each. And then the spread will just be real wide. And if we notice that we're picking up more bites on one side or the other, we can shift our attention to one side or the other, but they should just be roving. It's following the bottom of the break. Then everybody in the boat remains conscious of whose lines are where, and we can make a real wide spread. So you're always kind of trying to pay the, attention uh, to your neighbor. Simple. So, well, you have the... You have the shad on there, so are that's you just... The simp that's the simple method. So that's the simple method of targeting sturgeon? Yep. So why do you put the night crawlers on first and then the shad on? Is, it, is that just, does that matter? Or? I technically, I usually go uh, shad first and then night crawlers to hold the shad on. But gotcha. everyone does it different. Every Sturgeon guys all bait stuff differently. Everyone has their own little like two shad, two worm, right. worm shad, worm. Cause I know you just got night crawlers on that one. So you're just kind of doing a hodgepodge, just pretty yeah. much of everything. Alrighty. All right, there we go. He's a small one. Fish on. There we go. <laughs> You're on the anchor. Oh, I'm on the anchor. Yeah, come this way. Big fish. I think he's good. Sturgeon dance. Oh, you got it? I'll just keep working forward. Nope. I have, I have that. The fish brought this line into it, too. It's a good fish. There you go, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see this fish. Oh, there he is! <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Oh, nice. Look at that. That's what's up. Here, let me uh. You gonna circle hook him right out there? Yeah. Yeah, just keep it. There we go. My first sturgeon, guys. That's a beauty right there. This is what I came here for. So a couple things to point out to you, Joe. Lamprey mark on the on the forehead. And what does that mean? That those little lampreys are like little eels. We'll show oh, you okay. one later. But he had one. He probably had one while he was coming up and the lamprey came off. The other thing is check out these mouths. If we can get up in here. Look at how much they wow. extend to eat eat the stuff off the bottom. So they just go around on the bottom extending, eating stuff off the bottom. That's why we're fishing the bottom. 
That's intense, man. That's awesome. Yeah. This is what we came here, guys. It was for the lake sturgeon. Congratulations, bud. Thanks, man. We're going to go and get more. Heck yeah. Let's go and release this fish. Here he goes. See you. Nox, boom. Nice work. Nox. Nox. I like it. Hooked up again. Second fish is on. This one's a baby. Hopefully it changes its mind and turns into a big one. A lot of babies get big underneath the boat. It's not a problem. <laughs> Just sitting here washing worms. Sometimes they get bigger though. And that's a heavy action. Man, that rod is bent. I didn't big. test the drag on that one at all, so it's pulling. It. It's that pulling. Easy. That one's got a kind of messed up handle. You see the nuts kind of off on it. Man, it's pulling pretty good. It's still a, it's still a lazy small fish. Oh, yeah, he ain't got on a pull yet. Better hurry up. There's going to be another bite soon. Yeah, he's coming. <laughs> You get a big one, I think, usually they launch out of the water. Yep, I love that. He's coming, yep. A little bigger, a little bigger. Not bad for the first five minutes. Bigger than the last one. That's a bigger one. Yep. Sure is. Here you go. We need that back, buddy. So the real question is, have you ever got a bucket list fish when you went to a new state within the first five minutes? No, nah, man. <laughs> I have not. All right, guys. Second sturgeon of the evening. I'm telling you guys, you got to check out these Northwood angling guys. They know what's up. Look at that beautiful fish. Second sturgeon of the evening. Let's get this guy in the water. There he goes. Oh yeah. He's peeling. This is a good one, guys. Get these rods out of your way. All right, talk it up. Fish on. This is the Lake Sturgeon, the feisty runs. Pure bruteness, pure power. It's like a fish on steroids, I tell you. He's coming. He hasn't dug on you yet. He will. It's good. Man. I think he will too. Oh yeah. Oh! Yeah. It's, it's on the, oh, that's a big fish. It's not fighting because it's wrapped up in that line. Look at that. Here, Here we go. Here we go. Yep. There's your party time. <laughs> that's, that is digging. Man, he's just peeling drag right now. I can't even do anything. Look at that right there, guys. That's what we want. See what I'm talking about now? Oh, yeah. That fish was wrapped up, and it came unwrapped, and it is taking off, and it is pulling like crazy right now. Yeah, he has a lot of steam, a lot of adrenaline. And he's wrapped up again? He's wrapped up again. And they do that a lot. They do spin. That's a high 40 inch, would yeah, you say? I would say it is. Okay, now I'm gonna let some line out so we can bring this guy in. We can get all the lasso off of him. We'll probably try to. Oh, yeah. Look at that fish, fellas. He is wrapped up. Doubled up. <laughs> now I got a double, guys. We got one fish down here. And then this one went. This one's not as 
Goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, what do you think? It's pure strength right there. Another anchor. Nope. Nice. It's another nice one. It's another oh, nice fish. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't think he was that big. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that guys. This is what it's all about. Don't worry, we're gonna get a really good release on these fish. <laughs> but uh this was a double back to back upper 40s of these fish. Man, I'm getting spoiled. You guys are spoiling me. <laughs> but this is what it's all about, guys. Just having fun, having a great time. and get this one back in the water get him back to its home careful ready to go there's that one it's time for its brother whoa all right look at that one this is what it's about too guys putting them back in the water so they can get bigger alrighty here he goes boom yeah boom. boom heck yeah fish on What do you think so far? Ah, it's a pretty good one. It's peeling drag. Get big. <laughs> I'm gonna tighten this up just a tad. Yep. It hasn't gotten big yet. We want him to grow. <laughs> grow. Jake, watch this. I am. Get off. Damn, man. I fucked. I'll come in here and grab it. Maybe. So, what are you liking better? Blue catfish oh, or lake is, sturgeon? This is fun, man. The thing, the great thing about lake sturgeon is you just, you just catch so many. I mean, if you're on a good day, good night, you get 20, 30 fish. And you're getting up to that by yourself. Look at that right there, guys. Coming straight to you. Oh. There she is. Nice. You keep getting these nice white colored ones. Pretty Does cool that mean one. they've been in the shallow, I guess? I don't know. All right, let's go and put this one back. There we go. You don't have to do them usually. They'll just blurt out a little air. You ready, little buddy, or you want to hang with us? No, he's ready. Nux, man, Nux. Hey, now you can send it oh. up. Speedy fight. Oh, uh, it's but, all right. Well, what I'm telling you is you put 10 more inches on the fight, on the fish, and the fight triples. triples. Yeah. It's like. So you're saying this, this gets a lot. little ones are fun. The big ones, it makes you almost think every time, like, oh my God, this might be like the world record. Yeah. <laughs> like, damn. Like, I don't know. 
You question yourselves on every fish over 50. Really? Inches. Yeah. Yeah. It's a baby. Yeah, you think you got it under control and then it'll just take off. So it's like. Uh, So the sturgeon are very common in here, huh? There's a lot. There's, There's a quite lot. a bit of them. The population has rebounded nicely. They were really uh, taken advantage of a long, long time ago. There he goes. And now the current regulations can't really keep them, so. What is, so, you do, so there's no uh, like har a, There's no harvesting limit on them or anything? You can buy a permit for one fish per year, but the time period of when you can fish them is very very short uh-huh uh, i think it's like a month and it's got wow. be 60 inches or bigger so, so it's kind of like so sending somebody out to go deer hunting what? but telling them they can only get a deer? 12 point boat oh, that's a range. really it's deer like it's wow yeah he's a small one i can tell i'm just yeah. i'm just reeling in on this guy oh wow really small pretty soon we're just gonna start doing this chant I'm not going to go live till we get a bigger one on, and I'm going to say fish on. It's a small one. Let's get him out there. Hey, man, what you cooking there? Chicken wings. Lots oh, of them. Oh, that's what's up, brother. Range these guys around a little bit. Got we some... good. There's no Subway in the boat. There's no Jimmy John's. We bring... This is how it's done, right? Delicious meats. Seasoned hey, what season meat. are you putting on there? This is the Northwood's favorite. We put it on pretty heavy, and it's called uh, Tony Cherries. Season Creoles. hey, that's awesome. Creole. Creole season. Good deal. We're gonna have some dinner, guys. Wait for one of these rods to bend down. Well, or move. <laughs> bite like a sunfish. Yeah, bite like a sunfish, and then uh, we'll reel down on them. One thing I noticed about these sturgeon, though, is that they don't bend the rod down like a catfish does. It's strictly just nibble, 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 and then you just got to reel down on them, which is why we use circle hooks and make sure they get set right in the corner of their mouth. You hooked up? Yep, we're hooked. hooked we're hooked. Mind that anchor, too, buddy. I know. I'm trying. I can't even see this line. That's the problem. This is a small one, dude. I'm like right here. Yeah, it's small. I'm just reeling it in. Whoa! Holy moly! Whoa, okay, all right. Oh, anchor, anchor. I know, I'm trying. Oh, gosh. Go under the anchor now. Can you clear the anchor? I think he's good. I think I'm good. It's on the anchor. It is. I can tell. Go back by it. Bad light. No, it's like shining really weird. Sorry guys, fish on. It's a monster. It's actually a pretty good fish. Not bad. Let's bring him in. Here, let me let some line out. There we go. Bad little one there. Not bad. There you go. Nice lake sturgeon. That's what's up. Heck yeah. Right there. Boom. All right, let's go ahead and release this. All righty. There she goes. That thing was going. Oh, it's in this line. It is? Grab this light. Oh. It's a baby. Oh yeah. Whoa. Some line. Ain't too bad though. Only one line. Not bad guys. We're gonna call it quits for the evening. Blake, appreciate you, man. Definitely uh had a pleasure fishing on your boat and Good time. same with you, man. Next. Trip is not over though. We're gonna have a few more videos to do. I'm here for a couple more days, guys. So anyway, stay tuned. Pleasant night, sweet dreams. See you guys later.